Hi, my name is Monica and this is my first video ever. I've always wanted to um, memorialize something that I've done, some hair journey or something, and I've just never had the nerve to do it simply because I um, am very conscious about how I look on camera. But more specifically, I've never felt great about my skin. As you can see, um, I have acne. And while I realize it's not um, a severe case of acne, um, it's enough to bother me and make me feel very self-conscious about it. And so this video that I am doing will be the first of hopefully many. And I intend to... Um, walk you guys through my Accutane journey because I have decided at 52 years old and I'm just sick of this acne and my last resort was Accutane and so I am doing Accutane now which is why I have decided to do this video because I'm talking about that which makes me self-conscious so I am in week I'm entering week three of my Accutane treatment my doctor told me that it would probably be for me four to six months um, of Accutane and she feels like um, within that time frame my acne should be pretty cleared up scars and all so we shall see I should have done this video three weeks ago to um, get day one and maybe um, and then week one week two and then of course this would be week three but I didn't so but it's okay I have um, several more months to go and so um, this is as good as time as any to start this journey so anyway I am taking the Clarivis 40 milligrams one a day and that's what my dermatologist started me off with um side effects so far i have to say i've i have joined all kind of um accutane facebook groups i have watched tons of youtube videos from other um, people who are uh, who have um and are doing accutane and my side effects are not that bad and i really hope and pray that it stays that way i have noticed um dry skin and but i keep my face moisturized like i just got out out of the shower and i'm getting ready to go to bed but i did not put my moisturizer on yet because i remembered that i hadn't done this video yet and i wanted to really do it i wanted to start somewhere and so i just didn't get a chance to put my moisturizer on yet but um this is my skin now mind you i am going through the purging stage that you go through on accutane and so i don't know if you can see that really well um so over the pandemic, um, working from home and just not eating the way I would normally eat. Definitely wasn't drinking water like I am used to drinking. My face just really broke out. I've always, not always, as a teenager, I didn't have acne. I've had acne now for probably 18 years. Um, so somewhere in my 30s, my mid-30s is when my acne showed up. And so I've always been diagnosed with um, hormonal cystic nodular um, acne. And I've tried every cream, everything, you name it, I've tried it. From proactive to all kind of prescription creams and um, facial cleansers by my dermatologist. And it would clear my skin up just a little bit. And then, of course, it would break out again. I've even been on antibiotics for a little while. And the only thing that seemed to work a little bit was um, 
spirolactinone. I can never say that right. But it did work a little bit. It's like my, my body got used to it and it stopped working. But that's not the reason I stopped taking it. I stopped taking it because it made my breast, it started making my breast swell and feel like for anybody who's ever been pregnant, um, you know, your breasts swell up and they get hard because of the milk that's developing. That's what it felt like. Um, that didn't feel good. And I couldn't take that. It just was, it was too painful. So I looked online and did some research trying to figure out why at 52, I began to feel that. And lo and behold, I, I read and found out that it was the spirolactinone that, um, I was taking. So I immediately stopped taking it. And of course the acne just got worse. So um, anyway, I'm just giving you um, a little background on my history with my acne and what drove me to starting Accutane. So um, anyway, this video is not going to be long. I just wanted to start somewhere. Um, and so tonight was a good night to begin. And I think I will do a video once a week so that you guys can just kind of see my journey and follow um follow me and my progress so um what i was going to say was that my acne over the past several months has gotten really bad and so this is kind of how it's been looking and when i first started taking the accutane like maybe week at the end of week one and week two i could see it was clearing up um I don't know if I attribute that to the Accutane or not, but the bumps began to clear up. But then, um, week two, that's when this purge began to happen. And so all of those bumps and some came back. And um, I'm a chronic pimple popper. <laughs> and so uh, it's hard to, and I know I need to stop. I realize that. So don't give me a hard time about that. I know I should. But it's just been kind of hard. But anyway, I've been popping some of those pimples. Like that one right there. Um, and of course, that right there. But what I was going to say is, what I have noticed with the Accutane is the skin heals so quickly. So, like week one, I get um, fever blisters. And stress is the trigger, the trigger for my fever blisters. And when I started taking the Accutane... I got a fever blister. And to be honest with you, I don't remember where it was. I think that's the scar for it right there. But this was just last week, early last week, that I woke up with this itching, tingling um, sensation. And I knew instantly what it was. And if you've ever had a fever blister, you know it. You don't mistake it for anything else. And of course, I went straight to the mirror and looked in my magnifying mirror. And it was blistered up. And it was definitely a fever blister and now i have valtrex that i my doctor has prescribed for me to take when i get these fever blisters and that morning i didn't take one because i wanted to first call my dermatologist to make sure it was okay to mix that with the accutane that i'm taking well i procrastinated and i didn't call my dermatologist to ask um but by the night, the next day, the fever blister began to just dry up. That's what Accutane does. It dries your, um, it dries everything up. The fever blister was drying up already on day two, and I did mess around with it, and I popped it. All the little bumps in there, the little blisters, I did. I popped them, and, um, but like day three, four, the blisters were gone and it was dried up. And anybody who gets fever blisters knows that fever blisters will last anywhere from nine to ten days before they even dry up and get a scab on them. Um, so that's just how potent the Accutane um, treatment and this medication is. It renews your skin um, really quickly. So I, I do notice, that's what I was trying to say, is that I do notice that uh, every morning I might wake up with new bumps, but by the next day or two, that set of bumps will have disappeared 
or began to go away, but a new set comes back, so which is part of the purge. Anyway, so um, for anyone who's thinking about doing this or is doing it and it's just having uh, extreme dryness or extreme purging, I've seen cases that are really severe with the purging, just hang in there. Uh, you might not be able to see how the skin is healing because you have so much acne and so much purging going on. Don't focus on that. Um, if you're taking your medication like you're supposed to, um, keeping your face and your lips and everything moisturized, um, your skin is healing. Like I can see my forehead, it feels like a baby's butt. It feels like brand new skin. I don't typically break out on my forehead anyway. Maybe one or two spots here that I had. Um, but that's not one of my areas where I break out. But this skin feels smooth. And like I said, brand new smooth, um, brand new skin. And even here is brand new skin. I can see it and I can feel it. So I'm just waiting for this to hurry up and renew and the purging to stop. So let me get a better view for you so you can see. This is where I, I typically break out here. I didn't used to break out on my cheeks. This is something new. This happened mainly during the pandemic. My breakouts would be all around my chin, along this jawline. Those are the areas that I would typically break out all the time. And I would also get a bump or two on my nose pretty often. That's a common spot for me as well. Over the pandemic, I don't know what changed. And perhaps it was... Um, stopping with the antibiotic but that's when I started getting these bumps along here and here and around my mouth so anyway that's all I got that's 12 minutes and that's longer than I wanted to do for tonight I will come back another week and give you another update on my Accutane um, journey thank you for watching go ahead and like and subscribe and i'm going to try to bring you some good material with some good information thank you